The streets will never make you grow. It's not a seed, it's a gutter. There's no happy endings in this life. So this is my message to you. The streets will never love you back. Pow. What's up, guys? Well, guys, today I got another bad damn news story for you. I haven't been giving you no bad damn news stories. I got a good one for you. You're going to enjoy this one. Now, I also want to talk about We Punch Back. Now, uh, We Punch Back is something that I created. I'm creating a website. It's for people who are cyberbullying other people. Trolls that are attacking other people and their followers. Uh, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna keep people held accountable for that. And uh, when we find out who they are, we're gonna put them on a website because obviously all this nonsense that's going on on YouTube. But uh, the story I got today is about the kid John Pepper, and uh, when he shoots up T.G. Anthony Graziano's strip club in Staten Island. Now, John Papa was uh, the son of Jerry Papa. The apple didn't fall far from the tree when uh, they created him. I mean, he wanted to be just like his father. The father was uh, a mass murderer, killed over 37 people, killed a lot of his friends, maybe even some of his family members. He was uh, eventually murdered himself in Brooklyn, New York on 14th day, May 63rd. And uh, he was a wise guy with the Genovese crew. And his son wanted to be just like him, obviously. Now, John Papa was uh, a kid living in Staten Island at the time. And uh, he was always around guys here and there. He idolized his father, Jerry Papa. I'm sure some of you people know who Jerry Papa was. And I have to go back to. 87, 88, to talk about this story. What happened was, at this time, we were young kids going to nightclubs at the time. The nightclubs were in Manhattan, uh, somewhere in Bay Ridge, and we would have a good time. Back then, you go to a club, you go with you and your crew, and you got other crews there. You walk in, you know, you're having a staring contest, and there's always a beef somewhere in between the night. You know, you try to avoid them, but they're always there. You know, we either have a gun on us, a knife. You always got to have something on it because back then you couldn't trust nobody. You couldn't even trust your own friends, unfortunately. So we go to Underground. It's me, Albert Slavin, uh, Tommy Reynolds, Fabrizio, a couple other people. Now, Paulie G never used to go out. Paulie G would just hang out on the corner, and that was his thing. He stayed in the neighborhood. He would get in his car, go for a ride, smoke a joint, walk down the avenue, stuff like that. But he was always on the corner, never went out to clubs. Every so often, uh, he would go out, maybe three, four times in his lifetime that I seen him go out. And we run into these kids from downtown Brooklyn, okay? At this time, I didn't know the kid, Benny Gerritano. I end up knowing Barry Janitano later on in life. Uh, some kids from downtown Brooklyn eventually moved to my building, the Farisis, and they were three brothers, and uh, they were all good kids. I mean, we got along with them. But uh, Benny Gerritano is from downtown Brooklyn, his friend Johnny Boy, and a few other kids. Now, we end up seeing them in the underground. Me and my friends are there. They're there with a couple kids. We're staring at them. And uh, one thing led to another. Albert Slavin was a good jap out artist. Like, he would jap you. So he walks up to this kid, he japs him. And the kid ends up pulling out a knife and ends up sticking him. Now, Albert really didn't know where it came from. We're fighting. A couple kids are uh, rolling around, stuff like that. The bouncers are breaking things up. And Albert needs to get to the hospital. 
course, uh, he just got stabbed. He ends up getting to the hospital, gets in an ambulance. We meet him there. And this kid, Johnny Boy, is taking the credit for stabbing Albert Slavin. Now, back then, Albert Slavin was around Georgie Conti. And, uh, you know, Georgie Conti did a lot of work. So eight months down the line, the kid, Johnny Boy, gets murdered. Now, when Johnny Boy gets murdered, I'm thinking it's Benny Gerritano, but it's not Benny Gerritano. The kid Johnny Boy is related to John Papa. That's supposed to be his cousin. And then I find out later that his cousin told me that John Papa is the one who killed Johnny Boy. They were related. He killed him in his own apartment. John Papa goes to see him and ends up killing him. So the kid John Papa made a name for himself, I think at the age of 17 years old. I think he killed his cousin or his best friend. So he was always something wrong with him. You know, like I said, the apple didn't fall far from the tree when they made him, you know? So uh, what happens is John Papa, a couple years later, 91, 92, he walks into TG's strip club. In Staten Island, at uh, Arthur Kill Road. And he's walking in with a couple of his friends. You know, he thinks he's a tough guy. He's making a little name for himself. And he pulls out a gun, and he throws a couple shots off. And he abuses a couple of workers in there, maybe some strippers too. And he jets out of there. Okay, he takes off. Now, he knows it's TG's club. TG's a captain in the Bonanno crime family. Very tight with Anthony Sparrow, Sal Vitale, Joe Messina, Joe Benanti. Just like all in the family, you know? Another crime family. So we get the word. TG reaches out to uh, Sparrow, gets to Joe Benanti, that uh, he needs some help with this kid, John Papa. So me, Paulie G, Fabrizio, Tommy Reynolds, we take a ride down to Staten Island to go see TG because we want to know what's the problem. I mean, how can we help you? And that's how we were. You know, we wanted to step up to the plate and we wanted to get recognized from these guys, these captain, these wise guys. And that's what we were doing, making a name for ourselves. Now, in Staten Island, you had the Springville kids. I mean, they were tough kids, but they just weren't killers. You know, we were killers growing up. Holy G was doing a lot of work. Uh, Tommy Reynolds had a couple underneath his belt, and uh, I was involved in a couple homicides with them. And the Bad Avenue crew was making a name for ourselves since we were young kids, been around wise guys. So we go down, we go talk to TG, Paulie G's there, Fabrizio, Tommy Reynolds, and they tell us that this kid, John Papa, shot up the club. He threw off like two to three rounds in the club up in the air. Now, TG wants us to break his legs, uh, hurt him, whatever we could do to, you know what, show this kid you fucked up. You should have never, ever came to this club ever. You're in the wrong fucking spot. So TG gives us an address where this kid, John Papper, is. Holy G talks to TG. We meet TG. Hey, TG, how are you? Anthony, how's everything? What can we do for you? Yeah, we'll get this kid. You know, we'll make an example out of him. He'll, we'll make sure he never does it again. So we go looking for this kid, John Papa. We go to his address in Staten Island. We pull up. When we pull up, me, Fabrizio, Tommy Reynolds, Paulie G, we get out of the car. All of us, we have guns. And there's a light on in the front of the house. All of a sudden, when we pull up, the light goes off. So he must have seen us. He had to see us. So me and Paulie G, we're staying in the front. Fabrizio and Tommy Reynolds is walking towards the back, okay? As they're walking towards the back, we hear some kid, we hear somebody jump out of like the second floor window, okay? And he jumps onto the grass and he rolls around. We have our guns out and the kid jumps over a fence. The kid, John Papa, ends up getting away. And if we would have got him, seriously, he was a dead man, 100%. I had Paulie G there, Tommy Reynolds, Fabrizio. He wouldn't have lasted, but he got away, okay? Now, the kid's smart. 
because you know what? It's one thing sitting behind your friend and putting a gun to his head and pulling the trigger. Okay, we weren't his friends and we weren't afraid of him. That's why I always say there's always someone tougher. And the Bath Avenue crew was coming for him and he knew it too. So he gets away. When he gets away, a couple of days go by and he runs to a wise guy in the Colombo crime family. Okay. Uh, one of the Colombo guys come and visits TG, asks him to talk to TG about this kid. And uh, they promised him that you'll never see this kid again. And the kid, John Papa, was never allowed in TG strip club ever again. But uh, John Papa killed a lot of his family members and killed a lot of his friends. Something when I was growing up, I would never ever do. I killed for my friends. I didn't kill uh, my friends. And it's something, uh, you know, how Paulie G went out. And throughout this whole picture of my story, nothing good came out of my life besides, uh, you know, having my children and doing the right thing in life. But my friends all had to go to prison. All my friends were murdered and who had to cooperate to get out of their troubles. So this is not a way of life for anybody out there, just to let you guys know. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that short story. I did have some pictures I wanted to show you. Uh, this was Albert Slave and he's in the blue suit. That's the one they got stabbed. Paulie G is behind him, Reynolds is next to him. I'm in the back in this photo. This is uh, TG. He was a captain in the Bonanno crime family. We went to go visit him and he wanted uh, Johnny Papa to get made an example of. We didn't get him that day, but if we would have, he would have been in trouble for sure. This is Johnny Papa, a kid that uh, honestly just killed all his friends and a couple of his family members. This kid didn't care for nobody. He was just an evil kid. And there's the Bad Avenue crew back then. That was one of the good parties back then. You have Paulie G, me, Calco, Reynolds, the kid William Galloway. But I hope you guys enjoyed that story. It was uh, a short story. But I love you guys tomorrow, Sunday, 4 p.m. I'll be back. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And uh, listen, have a good Saturday night. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. God first. Bye, guys. The streets will never make you grow. It's not a seed. It's a gutter. There's no happy endings in this life. So this is my message to you. streets will never love you back.